both my parents were um, drug addicts. Shortly after I graduated from high school, I found out that I was pregnant and um, gave birth to a uh, nine pound, uh, 14 ounce son <laughs> um, that I am very proud of. It was basically my goal to be a mentor, not only a mom to my son. I just knew that I was determined to make sure that I provided my son with the things that I did not receive in life. You know, being a teen parent out on my own, trying to go to school and take care of Dazon and trying to work was, was a struggle. Tried to live in a decent neighborhood to where Dazon would not um, get caught up, you know, in the streets, which kind of led me to um, the YLA program. Went to the Y and asked questions and I had met Mr. Q and from that point on, Dazon was in the program. Every day after school, they would pick him up, help him with his homework. They would be that, uh, that figure, that, that father figure. The, the men that were in the program, they really played a, a big role in my son's life. I was really thankful. <sighs> I am so sorry. <laughs> So joining the YLA was like a, a brotherhood or a, had additional young people that I could relate to, conversate with, and it's just a sense of community almost. We have a motto, a pledge, and a creed that our kids live by. As you once were, we are now. As you are now, we someday will be. I'll never give less than my God giving best. As I reach for the stars, I believe I can be anything I choose because I believe in me. Mediocrity is not acceptable. Failure is not an option. High expectations are the norm. Academic achievement is the key to success. We will serve our community so we're qualified to lead. We're willing to work hard to pay the price for success and we'll also accept that we'll give nothing less than our God giving best. Those three things that we teach our kids to recite, to live, to stand on, to make that a part of our everyday existence is really what YLA stands for. Dazon and I met probably 10 plus years ago for the first time. I was uh, on the United Way board at the time. I just moved to town and, uh, and asked if I could uh, like to get to know some of the partner providers. Went over to Wadawit School and uh, saw the uh, process in action with uh, uh, then Dazon as a coach mentoring these young grade schoolers and it was uh, quite impressive. The, the young man had things quite in control, I can say. Being a part of the YLA program and volunteering, um, I was able to earn a uh, scholarship uh, to Carthage College. While at Carthage, learned about another opportunity that were you would get a bachelor's in physics and a uh, bachelor's in mechanical engineering from UW-Madison. It's a great experience at both colleges and uh, just very uh, blessed to have had that opportunity. The funding that we receive from the United Way, it helps that leader, it helps that future doctor, lawyer, understand the concept of becoming a leader. If it were not for the United Way, there would be no YLA program. dazon has been a good example for, for us and for me personally on what we can do, not only with our supporting with money, but supporting through volunteerism, though so it's not just a matter of you know, getting money and, and distributing that money, it's like, is there a plan? Do you have measurables? How can we assure that we know that we're verifying these results? That measured discipline approach, again, brings a lot of trust to the United Way. People can feel very comfortable that they can put their philanthropic investments to work. It took most definitely a community. It took a whole village to raise my son. United Way just, they just don't understand how much they've done for me, not only for me, but for my son, and then the investment that they've put into my son is in turn an investment for the community. I'm a perfect example of what an outcome is when you invest in the community. Born and raised in Racine, Wisconsin. Went to high school here, went to college locally here in Wisconsin. Um, 
now I'm here working. That investment, I mean, this is the outcome. <laughs>